Okay, pen might hit the paper, but we making more than songs. Like us in the music, we've been writing more than wrongs. Lightning in the bottle, stories too be long. That's why I'm in the front row, arms locked with the strong. See, I don't know how others get by. Me and my sisters and brothers alike. We step in the party, knowing everybody's a part of a bigger and better reply. My money's all wide, cause we do a guy. And why would I lie? Cause who can deny? They jumping together, we're feeling the bottom. Not only concern is you feeling surprised. I can't slow now, cause when it goes down. What is going on, bro? Welcome to another video. We're getting the day started with a little push workout in the home garage gym. We got one set left, triceps. This is my new favorite tricep uh, exercise. We're gonna go one, two, cross the arms over, cables at the highest attachment, then come down. Boom, one, two, three. And what I'm focused on here is really pausing for a second at the bottom and feeling that contraction of both of my tricep muscles. So I'm taking a little bit slower, might not get as many reps, but these are higher quality reps. Let's get three more. One, two, three, and a bonus one, four. Gains, bro. Workout complete. So it's time to get some calories in because today we're actually doing a little like two a day. We're heading out back in a couple hours to do a little different type of training. So I'm cooking up some breakfast tacos, David style. That's about the right amount. A lot of times you'll ask me like, what's the key for homemade breakfast tacos? Is getting the right potatoes. These have been my go-to frozen potatoes lately. Perfect. We got three eggs, four strips of bacon, the potatoes. Normally I like to put a little bit of uh, spinach in there, espinacas, it's just for a little bit of health purposes, but I don't have any, my groceries are out right now. What I like to do is actually scramble the potatoes in with the eggs. Just, it leads to a lot better consistency. And then you definitely wanna get some flour tortillas, not corn, corn is no bueno. Normally you want taco sized ones. All I got is burrito size today. So I'm gonna have to like cut them in half. Now these are some beautiful homemade breakfast tacos, bro. By the way, if you were following my channel this summer, you're gonna remember I made it my goal to dunk a basketball. Like growing up, basketball was my life. I played all the way up through high school and AAU basketball. I didn't play in college, man. I went to a D1 college and I'm a 5'11 white guy. But it was always a childhood dream to dunk a basketball. So this summer I started training. I started working on my jump technique. I was able to go from just Woo! tapping the rim with my hand to being able to Damn, jump bro. up and grab and hang on it with one hand, then to jump up and dunk a tennis ball. Then I was able to jump up and grab it with both hands. And I was able, at my peak, I got up and actually dunked one of those small basketballs. Ah, let's go. And then I started getting this like nasty tendonitis in my right knee. So I wasn't training as frequently. Then in August, we went on vacation to Julia's parents' place in New Hampshire, my parents in North Carolina. By the time we got back, it was time to start, you know, closing on this house and moving from Austin to Houston. So really the last time that I've trained for this is back in July, which is what, like six, six months ago or so. But then a couple days ago, I went and played pickup basketball. It was the first time I've touched the basketball since then. And as soon as I stepped on the court, I was like, yo, I need to get back to dunk training. Like that's a goal, it's important to me. So today, we're gonna hit up the court and we're gonna see we're gonna see how much progress I lost. You know, I'm gonna be shocked if I can still dunk the small ball. I probably lost a few inches off the vertical. Hopefully the knee's not bothering me too much. But uh I don't know, bro. You're gonna be there with me, you're gonna see what happens. And hopefully these tacos. Jump man, jump man tacos, they're gonna take me to the ceiling, bro. There's no not gonna be a ceiling. They're gonna take me to the moon. All my real ballers know that when you go to the court, you're not sipping on water. You're sipping on Gatorade. You're sipping on blue Gatorade or purple Gatorade. What's your favorite Gatorade flavor? Yellow. That's like very specific. Yellow? Yeah. I feel like yellow is what like moms buy when they buy Gatorade. No, it's orange or red. Like who buys those flavors? Moms. If they if it weren't for moms, they would no longer be selling orange, red, or yellow Gatorade. Yellow is just as bad as those. See, that's what I'm talking about right now. Blue Gatorade Zero. 
Actually, the white ones, I think they're cherry flavor. The white ones are actually low key pretty good. You want a white one? Wait, you like white better than blue? Yeah, I mean, I like blue better. So why didn't you get a blue? Yeah, because you told me, like, for YouTube, we're doing white, so I went along with it. I didn't say that. Just get to a Gatorade. Nah, how much is that? Yeah, one second, man. What's that? It's in here somewhere. Oh, it's in my pocket, my bad. It's so embarrassing, man. It's like, it's all this stuff in my... Like, I'm sick of that wallet, man! And that's why I decided to partner with Exter to be the sponsor of today's video. So a few days ago, I got this aluminum card holder from Exter, and this thing, it's changed the game for me. First of all, look how slim this is. Like, I'm used to having that bulky wallet in my, in my bottom pocket, and then when I'm sitting down, like, my right butt cheek's in the air, then my lower back starts to hurt. This solves those problems. My favorite feature is that it gives you instant access to all of your cards. You literally just click a button and they're gonna perfectly fan out at the top so you can find which car you need. It's forged from space grade aluminum so you know this thing is gonna last you for years and years. It actually has integrated RFID blocking layers so it's gonna fend off data skimmers, make sure your cards are safe. It has this nifty strap on the back to keep your cash and I also got the extra card finder. So this actually pairs with your phone and if you don't know where your phone is, you can click the button on this, it's gonna be your phone if you don't know where your wallet is you click the app on your phone and it's gonna help you find your wallet which is insane not to mention all of Exter's products come with a 12-month warranty and because they're sponsoring today's video they've hooked us up with a super special discount for a limited time all you have to do is click the first link in the description or go to extra.com slash how to beast the discount is automatically going to apply when you check out it's time to upgrade your wallet game bro first link in the description All right, so Julia, be honest with me. What is your prediction? Like, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get up there, grab with one hand, dunk the tennis ball. Do you think I'll be able to dunk the small basketball today? Ooh, I don't know. Like, after you playing basketball, I felt like you were really sore. Like, so you're getting a little old. So I feel like this could be a struggle. Is that a yes or a no? It's, it's a maybe. Like, we'll see. I hope you watching the video right now, I hope you have more faith in me than Julia does right now. Like So I'm starting to feel a little warmed up. I'm not gonna lie, it took me like, it took me four or five chances to get that shot down. I thought it was gonna be worse, because you guys know, if you haven't shot a basketball for like six or seven months, usually the shot is super ugly. I'm warmed up now from just like dribbling, shooting around, but I'm gonna do some of these static holds right here, because last time when I had that knee tendon pain, this was super helpful. Kind of doing this, testing the balance a little bit, about 30 seconds on each side. All right, last thing before we actually jump is I need to remind myself of the form because by far the most important part if you're a two foot jumper like me is the penultimate step so like when you're coming in you need to come boom boom really fast really low center of gravity and then explode up so the idea is that you start running slowly and as you get closer to the basket you speed up so that you transfer all that power into the jump and that's really what I struggle with is that I just naturally always slow down so I mean I'm gonna take it slow at first but as, as we get some more repetitions in there it's gonna be a lot about Faster, 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 faster. Yeah, man. All right, first attempt is just the one-handed grab. That was weak, let's, let's do it again. Struggling to even get like a strong one-handed grab, man. It's crazy how, I, I think my footwork is, is just really off, but it's like, it's frustrating, man. We're gonna keep trying. A little bit better. I think I need more of that, that that arm swing. Dude, if I can't dunk this tennis ball today, I'm gonna be pissed. Like I don't, Julie, we're not going home. We're not going home till this tennis ball goes in. Maybe not the small ball, but definitely a tennis ball. Gang. 
All right, see if we can get the two-handed grab. Not feeling extremely confident about it, but I'm gonna keep trying. I don't know if two hands is happening today, man. I'm starting to feel my, my right knee. Not like pain, but like, you know, like I feel it. Stay tuned, we'll definitely have more updates coming soon. I'm not, I'm not giving up on this goal, man. It, it is important to me. I told you I was gonna do it. So, keep watching. Yo, Joe. Yes, sir. You down to play uh, a little game one-on-one? -on -one? Let's do it. Three points? I'm tired. I'm good with that. Ones and twos? I'm good with that, yeah. All right, ball up. I lost 4-0 on a game to three. I got, we beat you? I got like a foot on you, and I couldn't go in. Yeah, so. but man, I did you. No, but the fact that I had to shoot threes. <laughs> All right, we're, we're running that back, one rematch. I had to convince him, but I'm not, I'm not losing four row and then not getting a rematch. I think this is gonna scrub. I don't think we need a rubber mask though. Huh? I don't think we need a rubber mask. I don't think so. One on one. So for dinner, a little Five Guys burgers and fries, and it's supposed to be bacon. Did they give me bacon? Does it say? It says bacon, there's gotta be and bacon there's no bacon. There. No, there's, there's no bacon. All right, so they're kind enough to give me some bacon to put on there. Here's the thing. I've always, I used to think Five Guys was like the goat, but then one time they overcooked my burgers, so I stopped going to Five Guys, and I started going to Shake Shack. The last time at the Shake Shack, they overcooked my burger, so I stopped going to Shake Shack, and I just haven't been in months to either one. Five Guys literally takes a giant dump on every other place, especially In N Out. In N Out is McDonald's compared to this. Uh, it, it, here's the problem In N Out is on the level of McDonald's, so it needs to be compared to McDonald's. It's better than McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's. The, this and Shake Shack's like a, a more premium burger. The only other place that I think is just as good as this, not Shake Shack, Steak and Shake. You have that? I've never had steak and shake. Better than I remember. Now this just took over the power rankings, took over Shake Shack. Have you ever had a situation where like you committed to a goal and then you let it fall by the wayside? Because like this summer when I was telling y'all about dunking, like I, I was super serious about it, but then obviously when things got busy, it was like it wasn't a priority versus my YouTube channel, my business, and he got hurt. And I had a knee that got hurt too. But like, I didn't, I didn't bounce back. Like, when my knee got better. Yeah. Have you ever anything like that? I tried being a pianist one time, and I was like, I really want to learn the piano. So I got, I, I got lessons. I bought a little keyboard. I was like, I'm gonna practice. And then you're like, I'm gonna practice. And then, and then you stop a little bit. You're like, I'll practice more tomorrow. And then you don't do that, and you put it off, put it off. So you didn't enjoy practicing. I think for me, it was more like I wanted to play the piano more than I wanted to commit to learning how to play the piano. And it's like lamb and tuna fish, it goes together. So you know? it's like, I, 
I want to like, I want to just be able to like show up to a basketball court and dunk and be doing like through the legs, like around the back, boom, all these dunks. It's prioritizing like your, your like desires, you know? Yeah, I guess it's like, if there's a goal you're setting for yourself and it's not easily attainable, like there's inevitably like hours that have to be put in of like consistent work. Because you guys saw like I wasn't consistent, now I came back and I like I lost inches off my vertical and it sucks. It's like I feel bad you know, over the last few months when I've seen comments like, yo, when's the next dunk update coming? Because I told you guys I was working towards this goal. But at the same time, some days I wake up and there's only so many hours in the day and I have other things that like, they are priorities on top of that. So I guess I need to, I guess like this is a decision you have to make a lot of times when you're trying to take on a new goal. It's like, is this a priority versus the other things I'm working towards? So we're about to check out this movie, Wrong Turn. I guess it's like a, a horror movie because Julia is not here. Julia does not watch horror movies, but I like horror movies. Do you like horror movies? Love them, dude. I, I, I like gory ones, though. I want people's like limbs getting sawn off. Hopefully we get some limbs sawn off in this one. By the way, I actually play Max one-on-one -on -one in basketball after I play Joe. That's going to be in his video. I whooped his ass. You guys might want to click over and see what actually happened. And if you guys haven't checked out Max's channel, I'll link it in the description because uh, he's got some pretty dope edits as well. If you like my edits, you probably like his edits. You know what's crazy? Real fast. There's going to be like 100,000 people, tens of thousands of people, whatever. They're going to see you say to come check my channel out. And they're like, nah. But anyone who goes up there, what is this place? Guys! Bro, Raven. It it started to be toward the end, like a seven, but with the ending, I think like a like an eight point five, dude. I was gonna give it a seven. It kept like the story kept changing. It kept developing. It never got boring. So but sometimes these movies get boring. It's one of those movies where it's like, how are they gonna get out of this? <laughs> like, oh yeah. Recommend it. Anyway, bro, I'm about to hit the hay, but if you're still watching this video, I appreciate you so much. Hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, click subscribe, and turn notifications on because I drop two new videos every single week and you don't want to miss them. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly. Like